We are joined now by Dr. David Piston, the incoming president of the Biophysical Society. It is really great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you very much for having me. So let's talk about the year ahead. Let's talk about your goals for your term. Yeah, so the, the, the big um, problem that the Biophysical Society faces, like many um, scientific societies, is really publishing, scientific publishing. Uh, the pressure on us from Europe in this Plan S, where certain journals will not be able to be submitted to, uh, competition from commercial publishers. So society journals are really um, up against it. And so not only the Biophysical Journal, but other ones from other scientific societies in the United States and around the world. And so one of the goals I have is to work with the other societies to sort of put a plan together uh, where we can join together. I like to say we can either hang together or we will hang separately. I think I stole that line from somebody else. Okay. And so really work with other societies to have a plan on how society journals can maintain their place as the arbiters of, of really the record of science. Uh, so society journals have been really where most of the best discoveries have been um, presented over the years, and we want to keep it that way. Very good. Well, you're talking about your members, and, and something I hear you're talking about a lot is expanding the awareness that there are careers outside of academia. Talk to me about that and why that is such a huge issue right now. Well, that's a, been a big issue for a long time. It's just really catching up to us now. Uh, only 20% of the PhDs in science will get jobs in academics. About 80% will maybe be just teaching at smaller colleges uh, in research academics. Uh, and so we need to have them prepared to do these other careers. Now, not only that, I think more PhDs is a good thing. A PhD is a research degree. It teaches people to address problems, define problems, and solve problems. And that's something that we need in the country, not just in scientific research. So more PhDs should be a good thing for the, company, for the country, for the economy, for the world. Uh, but we need them to be prepared to do other things than just go into looking like their PhD advisor. And so uh, the societies play a big role in that. At the, my institution, at Washington University, we know about academics. We are surrounded by academics. We can role model academics. We have people that have gone off to industry and patent law and other uh, areas, and we bring them back. But the society has a real breadth. We have industrial uh, scientists. We have people in, in patent law. We have people that are journalists. Uh, we have people that produce uh, television programs. And so uh, the people, uh, students and postdocs can get ex uh, exposed to all of those um, different possible careers here at the meeting in a way that we just can't do at our home institutions. Is there resistance to that or are people excited to think that there might be something beyond the research and the teaching? There's a, there's a, um, a little of both, I would say. Uh, certainly some people are excited. Many people go in to get a PhD. They want to solve problems. They don't really want to do academic research. They don't want to write grants and papers and be under that sort of pressure to perform all the time. They like doing bench research. They like uh, doing things uh, with their hands and, and solving problems. You know, in that situation, they're really excited to have other opportunities to look at look elsewhere. There's a lot of people who think they want to go into academics and really want to go that way and they want to uh, work hard at it and not all of them are going to make it. It's a very competitive uh, business. And so at, at different times, people realize that maybe alternative careers would be a good thing to look at. Although we say the alternative career is being a research scientist at an academic institution, since that's the minority of people. Okay. That really is thought of as, that's the alternative career. The real career is to apply your PhD to solve problems that really make the world a better place. Fantastic. All right, so you've got a lot of folks here. Um, what's your favorite part of the conference? Oh, my favorite part of the conference is definitely the poster sessions. Okay. Uh, my mean free path is about three feet. Uh, I just run into people I know, people I've worked with, people I've collaborated with, people I want to collaborate with. Go from poster to poster. I always have about 100 posters that I want to see, and I generally see about 15 or 20. Uh, and then I spend the rest of the night sending emails to these people saying, sorry, I couldn't get to your poster. Uh, but just the, the energy of that, the great ideas, this is where the new things are presented, uh, new ideas that a student has, that a postdoc has, uh, the lab has, just sort of the last panel on the poster really shows the future of where things are going. Well, I can't thank you enough for spending a few minutes with us, and good luck next year. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and if you want to watch more from the Biophysical Society meeting, check out some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe.